Hello, loves, and welcome to a monthly studio vlog. I have been filming little studio-based, art-based things that I do all the time, and I haven't found a good way to kind of share it and wrap it up, so I think we're gonna try to figure out a way to do this, like, monthly vlog thing and hopefully make it work. So let me know what you think down below. Uh, otherwise, I guess let's get into this. <laughs> Kiwi is here with me while I'm trying to do my daily sketchbook page. So uh, she's making it a little bit difficult. Like, watch. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, kiwi. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. I guess that makes sense. You gotta be difficult, right? So yeah, I am currently trying to work on my daily sketchbook pages. I'm actually trying to, oops, sorry. Let's not entice Kiwi to attack my sketchbook. I'm trying to think of a better way to go about doing the daily drawing. Right now, the idea is just to do a simple page in my sketchbook, but I'm finding myself wanting to work on other things as well. And the whole point of this is really just to draw every single day. But I find that outside of the sketchbook, I'm not doing other stuff uh, it, unless it's Patreon rewards. Awards. So I'm thinking that I might do something else, like do a photo of a drawing that I've done. So like every day I take a photo of something that I'm working on and sometimes it could be the same thing multiple days, but you'll just see different progress. Like I'm not sure because <laughs> I need some way to document it. That's what I'm doing. I need to trim Kiwi's nails. She's been so determined to sit on me that she's clawing into me when I'm trying to move. <laughs> very unpleasant. Kiwi, please stop. You're gonna like ruin my things. She is so determined not to look up. Can I, I'm gonna put you on the floor. I love you. I just need some space. <laughs> I should also mention that today is Monday, January 31st, and this is the beginning of the February vlog. Vlog? The February vlog, even though technically it's still January, because I mean, come on, it's Monday. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's basically February already. Hello loves. Today is Tuesday, February 1st. I just got home from work. We ended up having a Lunar New Year's lunch thing, so there were more people than I'm used to, but it was it was fun being around people, especially knowing that everybody at the office is vaccinated and the majority of them are boosted and we wore masks, except when we were eating. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was nice seeing people. It seems like it's getting a little bit more lax where I live in general, so I'm interested to see how things progress. That being said, while I was at work, I ended up getting a shop order. So thank you, Portia. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I guess we're going to quickly package the order. Boop, 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 boop. Say hi to the YouTubes. Okay, so let's start packing. So I ended up starting with the sticker sheets and then Kiwi was in the way, so I had to move her and move on to the die cut stickers because I was just doing one order. I didn't print out a packing slip. I was just kind of looking at the order directly on my computer and then just kind of double checking to make sure that I got everything that I needed. I did pick the wrong post-it note here for the first one, but as I was looking, I noticed pretty quickly that it wasn't the right one and I ended up fixing that in the end. Uh, then here I am getting all of the pieces or the packaging for all of the different pieces and kind of laying out the freebies and all of the uh, goodies and packing everything up and then obviously uh, once I do that or in this process I try and do that so that it's easier for you to find the different parts um, I like to put all of the stickers together and then I put all of the flat stuff in this larger little paper bag, but I keep like the separate post-its um, in, in a different piece. And then after everything's all good to go, I write a little note and pop it in the rigid mailer so that it can arrive safely. So that's pretty much what we do. Again, a big thank you to anybody who orders from the shop. 
Okay, so unfortunately, I wasn't the best at filming every time I ended up doing one of the daily drawings. I was pretty on top of it, even when I was doing everything in the sketchbook, because I don't know, I just was set that this was going to be one of the main things that I do this year. So I was pretty good about it. But I have been struggling with the sketchbook side of things, simply because I feel like I would do all of the sketchbook and then I would have no energy to work on other stuff which was problematic when I had a bunch of like Patreon rewards that I had to do and other responsibilities and I just wanted to practice more digital complete looking illustration type stuff. Um, so I was struggling a little bit with this daily sketchbook challenge. And as some of you know, later on, I end up changing that in the future. Um, but here you can see some of the progress that I did as I was doing it for the sketchbook side of things. Here I'm working on uh, Patreon rewards slash the tarot deck project because they are kind of combined. I'm doing one tarot card design each month as part of the rewards. And then I kind of do additional illustrations that are either inspired by or that just kind of fit with that general color scheme of the card. Um, and this one is the March Designs, actually, uh, which is based off of the Strength card. So I wanted to do Lions and Tigers and Bears because it makes me think of the Jasmine Sullivan song. I'm not scared of lions and tigers and bears. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this portion. Okay, so the premiere is starting for the um, studio vlog that I did. I haven't done one in a while, so I decided to premiere this one. I haven't watched it beforehand, so hopefully there's no issues. <laughs> this would be an embarrassing time to find out there's an issue. A couple people in chat. Thank you everybody who ever comes and hangs out during the premieres. Uh, <laughs> it's really easy to get like stressed out and nervous about these kinds of things. So thank you for hanging out with me and chatting and all of that. That's pretty exciting. A couple of people coming in and dropping off, but oh, it's creeping up. The, the video itself is actually pretty short, so we're almost done. Okay, it looks like we got up to nine people. Ah, that's so exciting. I think I might try and um, do it a little bit later because it seems like people trickled in more towards the latter half, so I think I may have just timed it pretty poorly. Yeah, next time I might have it be, you know, like 12, 10 or something. Oh, thank you everybody. Yay. Okay, I am a mess. <laughs> um, it's really hot today. It's like the hottest it's been in a long time, so I'm a little sweaty, so do forgive me but I actually just had a patron raise their pledge to give a little bit extra and I don't know it just really means a lot I don't know I guess I'm always afraid that what I'm doing isn't good enough and I know that's ridiculous because I realize that at least when it goes to patron patreon I'm doing way more than I should be Hello loves, time for a studio vlog update. I'm stressing out a lot. Today is like the 12th or something, it's Saturday, and I haven't finished anything. I'm switching from doing daily sketchbook pages to just drawing daily, which was the whole point after all, but I wanted something substantial to be able to track my progress of daily drawing so that I don't like forget stuff, but I wanna do it digitally so that I can work on my monthly rewards as part of this daily drawing challenge and that's what I'm doing. I did that for two days so far so I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I'm not in a good mental state which is bad because I was hoping to do all of the Patreon printing stuff today. And I really want to get that out of the way. It's, it's been ready to go for a while. I was gonna try and do it early but because of Blackathon 2020 I decided that I was gonna focus on that this week and then you know try and do it, all the other stuff later. Like I'm just stressed. I also had one of um, the December rewards returned to me which is annoying. It's my mom's because I did get my mom and my dad, although my dad is no longer a patron, but I did get my mom to, to support me on Patreon. So I'm not super worried about it. I'm just gonna combine it with the next one. The address is correct, but it's saying that the address is incorrect. And so I was all like, did I mess something up? And when I checked it, I did not. <laughs> so I'm all like, why did it not work? I don't understand. Um, so that's frustrating. I And I really, I like don't know, I don't know what to do about that. What do I do when the post office is wrong and just go there and be like hey this is the correct address can you try again 
like I double checked, I made sure that this was the address that I used the last time that I've driven to that is the right one. I talked to the person, like it's the correct fucking address. <laughs> like, What is the problem? Um, like I don't want to not do anything. I want to work on stuff and I don't know what to focus on. Should I edit videos? Should I focus on drawing? Should I, like, what do I do? Okay, because I am feeling um, tired and a little overwhelmed, so I'm just not in a good space right now. So I need to not have to worry about stuff. I decided that I'm probably gonna give myself the day off today. Hello loves, it is editing me. It's currently March 7th when I'm editing this right before work and I thought that I would pop in and let you know how things are going because this clip seems very sad and depressing and I don't really give an update after in this video. I do in some of the other ones because they overlap all of them, but I just wanted to let you know I am okay. Basically later that day I was feeling better. The next day I was rejuvenated and feeling fantastic. I am still suffering with this overwhelm slash edge of burnout feeling in general and I'm working towards fixing that. So in the next couple of monthly vlogs, you'll probably see me trying different things to make sure that I can keep up with all of the things that I'm working on and want to do while also taking care of myself because that is important and I do want to motivate people and stress to people how important it is to take care of yourself. I did during this time end up deprioritizing YouTube, which is why I didn't post these videos last month when I actually intended to or the end of last month. So I did kind of take a break so that I can kind of catch up and feel less overwhelmed. And like I said, I'm working in other ways to make sure that that's not an issue in the long run, but I did want to let you know <laughs> because it seemed real depressing for a minute. <laughs> And I know a lot of people are like, take care of yourself, like it's okay. But don't worry, I'm doing this like video stuff because I enjoy it. It's just been a little bit hard to keep up with everything that I want to do, which can be really frustrating. So yeah, trying to be honest with you guys, but also don't want you to worry. <laughs> okay, so it is currently Monday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and today has been a bit of a doozy. So I ended up going into Kiwi. I'm trying to film a video. Okay, so today has been a bit of a doozy. I went to the office pretty early. It was a day. It was a day. Um, so after getting home from work, I, I had a long list of things that I was going to try and do. And I sat down to fill out the envelopes for January and February Patreon rewards so that I can be ahead. And my arm is killing me. Like I definitely feel it. The muscles. Not a, not a fan. <laughs> not a fan. But yeah, thank you to everybody who is a patron. I was kind of hoping that I would get a ton of stuff done today and then be able to finish everything up tomorrow and then be ahead. But yeah, no. So we're gonna see how things go. In terms of switching over to doing my daily sketchbook pages into just daily drawing and doing like working on some of my digital stuff, that is going well so far. I ended up working on one of the March Patreon reward drawings because as I may have mentioned already, I'm working on February and March at the same time. Kind of a bummer that I'm doing it this month when it's like the shortest month of the year. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But so far, it's it's looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I have a lot of stuff that I have to do though. And I'm bummed that I haven't gotten more done. Okay, so usually all of the studio vlog printing stuff happens on the same day, but this was a, an off studio month for me and I ended up doing a little bit here and there. So here is a little compilation of some of the different studio vlog stuff that I was doing. So you saw me printing out rewards. Here I'm working on rewards. So this is stuff for the uh, February Patreon rewards because obviously that was a priority. I decided to make kind of this um, two of wands sticker to go with the two of wands illustration. Okay, so here I am going to get my septum and ears pierced with my older sibling and I'm re-piercing a hole in one of my ears that closed up a long time ago and has some scar tissue. So I was a little bit nervous and it ended up hurting a little bit more than I was expecting to. So I was super nervous at this point to get my septum pierced, but it ended up not being so bad. Are you guys wondering? Yeah. 
It's funny because I almost didn't feel it at all. Mm -hmm. And here we have my older sibling coming in clutch with the napkin. <laughs> I then ended up kind of going over to their house, doing a little bit of septum reveal, playing with the cats. Uh, they have two shenanigans and malarkey. Here are some of the awesome miniatures that they've done. They're really good, and I'm always super impressed when I see that. Uh, this one is malarkey, so getting a little bit of a uh, cat love in. And all of this was before we did some drawing time. Shenanigans. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess this is this is what we're this is what we're doing now. As you can see, the cats were not having it. <laughs> So I had the fun experience of drawing with multiple cats all over me and my drawing space, which was actually fantastic. And then I kind of just ended the night with Malarkey in my lap. So here's a little bit of a time lapse of him being the cutest thing ever because cats are the best. And this was a fun time. It's been ages since I was able to see them. So... So this came in the mail yesterday and I thought I'd open it. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but yesterday I ended up spending with my older sibling and we ended up going to some bookstores. I got some antique books and then I also ended up getting my septum pierced and I got my second hole re-pierced. So I got that pierced a long time ago. I haven't gotten any piercing since since I was in middle school. <laughs> so I was a little bit nervous. And then this one, the re-pierced actually kind of hurt a bit. And I was all like, okay, like if that hurt, then this is going to be really painful. And I started like super doubting myself, but I was like, this is the reason why I'm here. I've always wanted to get my septum pierced or like not always, but for years I've wanted my septum pierced. And so I finally got it pierced and this, I felt nothing. <laughs> like when it actually happened like it's funny like I felt the clamp more than the actual piercing and I was like wow that was surprisingly like painless um and then when he went and put the actual ring in like I felt it a little bit but I was like yeah again that was also surprisingly painless but of the two this one I can tell is going to give me more of a, a pain anyway let's get into the unboxing I'm really excited about this most of the things that I kickstart actually aren't art related it's mostly tabletop role-playing game related but I have backed a couple of art kickstarters recently I'll show you the other one that I ended up getting. I believe I unboxed that off camera. But this one comes with such a pretty box. Like this came this way. My address is like on the other side. So like this is the actual box it shipped in. Oh look at it. It's so pretty. I also am loving the um the color schemes that we've got going on here because I'm going more towards neutral fall vibe with everything that I do. So we have this bookmark here, which I'm here for. So then we have a sticker sheet, which is like really thin. I almost didn't think there were like stickers on it. And then a print, which is actually really pretty. So I have a bunch of sibling prints at this point because I've got several <laughs> special things from her. But this is, this is gorgeous. I love the slip case. And then the book itself, of course, also gorgeous. Not a surprise because I love Sibylline's work. I also like that she's doing more color palettes that are right up my alley. But like this is, this is a full on gorgeous ass art book. And I am stoked. Stoked! <laughs> Yeah, just look at it. It's, it's gorgeous, bruh. It's gorgeous, bruh. It is signed, which is cool. I'm sad that this got messed up right on the art side because what I like to do with pretty packaging, I did this with the Loish one as well, although I'm not sure where it is, but like I cut out the art and I keep it. <laughs> I want to do that for this one as well, even though the actual thing is damaged. So the other two art Kickstarters that I've gotten recently are classics, but make it gay. So it came with like a sticker and a print. And then this one has a dust jacket with the same art as the actual one. You can see some of the gay versions of classic art. <laughs> I freaking love it because I love classic art. I love history and old things, but I hate the lack of representation in them because obviously it's only now that a lot of things are being accepted in the world. So this is like right up my alley. I kind of want to do this also with like myself, do a little series where it's like classic, but make it black. But yeah, and then the last one that I've got in recently is Tumble, which is the art of uh, Chris Hong and obviously gorgeous work just absolutely gorgeous work. And then this one is also signed. I came with a sticker and I don't really think it came with anything else. So yeah, lots of really pretty art. And I'm so glad to have all of these. Yeah, that's my little Kickstarter haul unboxing thing. <laughs>
Um, I will try to link all of these Kickstarters down below so that you can find more information and see if you can grab these yourself. Okay, and we finally make it to the Patreon printing day of the month. This ends up being kind of a big ordeal because I spend the whole day doing all of the things. Now, this month I attempted to do some stuff early as you guys saw earlier in the vlog, but I still had a majority of the work to do. So things like cutting stickers, which is one of the things that I try and do first since it's the most time consuming. So if I get that out of the way, everything else kind of feels like a walk in the park. Um, so here I am doing the sticker sheets. Um, I did have a little bit of an issue because the blade that I'm using seems to be a little bit uh, dull. So some of the outside cuts weren't as clean as I wanted, but fortunately the kiss cuts didn't have any issues. Um, and then from there, I switched over to doing bookmarks because those are the second most difficult uh, things for me to do. And I'm just kind of laminating the bookmarks before I do all of the cutting and just kind of going through this process. Now, admittedly, once I get started, it's usually not an issue. I was listening to an audiobook. I was pretty invested in that. I just spent the day working on things. The issue that I end up having with the Patreon printing and cutting and packaging day is that it feels more daunting than it actually is. So I tend to kind of stress out about it beforehand. That doesn't make for a good time <laughs> even if the actual process isn't as bad as I think so I'm once again going to try and see if I can do bits of it throughout the month. I'm still trying to catch up and get ahead with all of my Patreon rewards. I'm currently by attempting to do or work on multiple months in a single month. I unfortunately wasn't able to finish March's Patreon rewards while I was working on February rewards. So I'm still not ahead. Even though I did get a good chunk done, I still have to find time to finish everything up and then figure out what I'm going to be doing for April and May. But yeah, this can be a pretty therapeutic process once you're actually doing it. It's just a little bit time consuming. If I'm working on other stuff, it's usually pretty enjoyable. Yeah, just cutting the bookmarks and then getting ready for the next section. I was talking to my mom while cutting some of the things because um, my mom tends to call me on some of her breaks at work. So it was a real real quick chat that we had there and then working on my daily drawing because what I'm trying to do for the daily drawing is basically allow myself to work on whatever as long as I'm drawing and then I do pretty much a journaling scrapbook piece about the drawing or drawings that I did that day uh, with some commentary on kind of like what's going on. And then I usually share those with my patrons every other week. So I was originally doing sketchbook flip throughs, but now that I'm not doing sketchbooks, um, that's that's what I'm doing. And then here, I am once again trying to find a way that I could do better packaging for my Patreon rewards. That's one issue that I always tend to have <laughs> is that the packaging isn't as good as I would like so like my shop packaging is usually pretty cute and then my patreon rewards end up kind of just getting tossed into the envelope because um that's was the point of them but because I like whenever I can to make things look nice I'm always trying to think of ways that I can improve how everything is. So in this case, I found a way that I could cut my regular packing paper into little like belly bands, basically. Um, as you can see me doing here, I just fold them and then cut them on this little um, strip cutter. And then I mean, having to cut off extra bits, but I'm thinking I'm going to use those during the um, a gift for you packaging 
envelopes that I use in my shop. So I'm going to try to keep using the additional like scrap pieces for decorations in other areas, but they might be a little bit too small to do that. Uh, currently, I just have them off to the side so that I can give that a shot. Um, and then I'm going in and filling out my little thank you notes. I try to also label these with what the month is so that if people wanted to keep them, they would know like what months that they were subscribed. I've done this pretty consistently for all of the months, not so much the labeling of the month. That's something that I started doing towards the end. Um, I think I only missed one month of the notes because I was all like, maybe people don't like these. And then I was like, actually, these are not only beneficial uh, possibly to my patrons, but they are also beneficial to me because then I get to keep track of like what month we're working on and things like that. As I mentioned earlier, I ended up doing the envelopes for both January and February when I was working on these because these are the January Patreon rewards. So this is the lover's design that I have. And then on the front, I stamp each envelope with the type of reward that it is. I just have a, a witch's hat and a grimoire. Grimoire is my highest tier, the $16 tier where you get all of the goodies. And these ones I'm doing are the witch's hat, which is the second highest tier, the $10 tier. And if you're a new patron, you will end up getting a couple of extra goodies your first month, pretty much once a year when the exclusive Patreon print gets updated which is actually supposed to happen uh, February or March, depending on how quickly I'm able to finish that drawing, which you will see in the next vlog. But yeah, so in this case, I'm able to kind of keep track of everything that way. And then on the outside of the envelopes, I also label it so I know which ones which since they have different weights. And then I also uh, this time added Jan or January and February to the outside of the envelopes as well so that I didn't accidentally pack ones that I wasn't supposed to. Okay, so I'm on my way to the post box. I have my mask, even though technically the whole mask thing is up in my area. I'm still gonna continue wearing masks because why not? Patreon rewards are finally done and delivered. So that's out of the way. I'm very happy. I'm starting my day off strong. Hello again. So because at the end of February, I was dealing with burnout, which I mentioned earlier in the video, I didn't do the best at closing out this video. In general, I kind of got overwhelmed with all of the footage that I had filmed, but hadn't edited yet. So I just wasn't able to keep up with the vlogs because it gets really hard when you're filming multiple vlogs to know what you filmed and what you haven't filmed. So this is the end of the vlog. I'm trying to get better at keeping notes and keeping track of what I'm doing so hopefully future ones will be more enjoyable but there was a lot of cool stuff in here so hopefully you enjoyed it if you did be sure to thumbs up and comment and all that stuff include this emoji down below to let me know that you made it this far if you want to see more videos of studio vlog stuff you can check out this playlist and I will catch you in the next one until then bye